Well, hello there, and let's just keep up the good work on this channel, as I said. I really want to see it grow. Uh, I've mentioned this before, briefly, but now I want to talk a little bit more about it. While some food is getting uh, done in the kitchen. Hopefully I won't forget about it. <laughs> oh, because that happens sometimes. Uh, what I want to talk about is this uh, PC here that is uh, on my balcony. It started to rain too. Um, now what I want to explain is um, first why I did it and second why it's not a bad idea at all because there's a lot of people um, just speaking about a whole bunch of what really is nothing but uh, internet theories you know nothing proven nothing with any kind of logical meaning to it at all well first why would you do this um, space might be a problem you know if you live in a studio apartment like I do uh, and when you have a whole bunch of stuff like I do you know I mean I have a whole um, what do you call that damn it and I said I won't edit this one <laughs> uh, most of uh, the storage space it's filled with you know normal people have like shoes and clothes and uh, bed sheets and like uh, two-thirds of what we have here is just my technical stuff even where clothes should be <laughs> so yeah space uh, can get really low uh, when you need uh, that kind of uh, storage space also there's noise I know people who can sleep while their computer is on next to them and that being absolutely no deal whatsoever for me it's like having a, a train horn sounding next to me while I sleep it it's just not going to happen the moment there is a fan spinning in the same room with me no matter if it is a PC, a laptop, a, an UPS, anything at all I can't sleep There's this constant buzzing even uh, in the bathroom which is like uh, I don't know feet in English there's a lot of feet we don't have much feet around here uh, that would be like uh, I don't know 20 feet away from uh, the bed behind two doors and I keep a fan going uh, permanently to suck in fresh air <laughs> because I'm allergic to cat urine and I have my uh, cat's litter box there uh, so that there's no air escaping from the bathroom into the house you know it's a constant flow of air towards the bathroom yeah and I had to solder some um, resistors to lower the, the speed of the fan because uh, no way I can sleep with that going at its full speed it's like a vacuum cleaner you know, uh, yeah, but uh, no, PCs and laptops, even a laptop that has a single small fan can't do that. I have to completely shut it down, turn off all the lights, all the LEDs, all the screens, everything. It needs to be pitch dark, totally silent to get any kind of sleep. Uh, the same if, the same goes if there's any sound during uh, sleeping hours, you know while I sleep, no matter if it's the cat, you know, uh, not to mention important stuff like someone knocking on the door, that that wakes me up straight, I'm like sitting straight up in, in a second if someone knocks on the door, so it really needs to be quiet, so that is a very very big uh, big issue for me, and it's really nice to have some space to put the, the PC away from the room. Uh, and also get extra space. So what I did uh, This cloth is just temporary until I find a solution and because I kept uh, adding more and more wires 
as I continued to do stuff. Uh, I just drilled a hole through the window frame. That's really easy to do, it's not a big deal at all. And then just passed all the wires through. And hell, I even have one of the, the HDMI's for one of the screens. Even uh, uh, made bigger by uh, putting a soldering a longer piece in between the ends. Uh, that's a bit difficult to do. I don't know. There's like uh, 18, 20, 20 something wires to to solder on each end. But in the end, if the if both wires, uh, if they all have uh, the same quality, if they're good enough. That's not an issue, it works. And then uh, I used some of this uh, wire tubing, which is normally used in construction to put uh, all the electric wires in the walls, you know, as you build the electric system. But they look just fine. They're, look at them, it's just like two tubes, it's almost science fiction, like a <laughs> spaceship or something. Yeah, and I have this one too. This is uh, the wire for the third screen, which I don't always use. Uh, it kind of occupies too much you know, my desk space. I would keep it, but it's just uh, too much space used. And there you go. And that includes uh, power. That goes to the UPS. And then uh, the PC gets... Uh, it's power from behind the UPS. You can't really see it. There's another power extender behind this plank here. Uh, yeah, no, that's totally fine. It's all quiet, you know. And you turn it on, you don't even hear anything. Uh, and the second issue I want to talk about is yeah, when, when, when people hear about having a PC on the balcony. You know, with uh, windows and kind of exposed to the elements. With, you know, a lot of cold. Even now, it's a bit cold. Because I don't think we have more than 15 degrees Celsius outside. Every single person I ever met, every single person I've seen talking about this subject mentions, in some way or form, condensation. And let me tell you that if you have the slightest idea of how physics work in this world you instantly realize that condensation cannot be an issue no matter what because of the simple fact that condensation forms on colder surfaces in warm environments not the other way around here we have a cold environment where the PC gets warm okay so that is not going to happen ever there's no condensation whatsoever no matter what you do no matter what temperatures you have I've had a PC <coughs> and uh, it wasn't uh, these cooler generations now with the i5s and i7s it was um, in the times of Athlons if you remember those were like exploding with an open flame <laughs> if they weren't cooled properly so uh, quite some different times do those were uh, some heating machines especially it was a gaming system and even then i've had one of those in about minus 10 or minus 15 celsius the cpu was at uh, around zero degrees so right at freezing point and i tell you not a single problem it just runs better and better as the temperature drops there's not a single drop of water, no condensation whatsoever. That doesn't happen because it doesn't happen when the device is warmer than the environment. Yeah, if you bring a PC from, I uh, say it sits in the car and you keep it at minus 10 for a whole day and bring it in, power it up immediately, that's when things go boom because you have that cold PC in a very warm environment with all the moisture in the air that gets deposited on all the surfaces, all the boards, all the components. Uh, in the form of condensation and that's when things go wrong not the other way around if you have a warm device in a cold environment it's the best thing you can do it's it not only doesn't do any harm it's actually better for the pc to run like that because every single electronic component in this world 
works better at lower temperatures. It's not even the limits they they show in the specifications like those 60, 70, 80 degrees, that's way too high. Even from 50 to 30 you see the difference. Not mentioning situations where it can reach like 10 degrees or 5 degrees or even 0 degrees on your CPU. That is the best thing you can do for how fast your PC is and how well it works. I'm not sure about uh, hard disks but back then we didn't have SSDs and I don't remember having any problem with the hard disks either because they're mostly encapsulated and yeah you don't really care not it's I guess you would uh, expect some effects starting you know at uh, uh, carbonized temperatures like minus 80 minus 100 but not at temperatures like minus 10 or minus 15, even minus 20, minus 30 Celsius. That's never going to be an issue. Okay, so everything is fine. Uh, there's a bit of problem with the dust because it's uh, closer to the outside environment. But it's not like you can't get it out and clean it with a vacuum every now and then. Yeah, and that's pretty much uh, everything there is to it. And if I can show you the other side. Oh, we gotta, I'm gonna need a light for this. It's the same thing, you know, the wires coming in and then spreading to whatever you need them. This one of the, with the blue shrink tube, with the extended HDMI cable. It's very nice. Actually, I think it's this screen. I'm not sure which one of them, but obviously both work just fine. Come on. So there's perfect image on both of them. Yeah, that's it. And thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that crap. And uh, see you next time. Thanks.